What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we have some breaking news. Kind of. I mean, it's breaking news, so I'm bringing back the excitement because we used to do these in free agency. We haven't had one in a while, and I kind of miss it. Breaking news, y'all. We have made another signing, as you can tell by the title and thumbnail. We have brought in Kenny Wiggins. Okay, look, Kenny Wiggins was here last season. I know it's not as exciting as some of the other moves. I'm sorry, but this is what we have, so it's what we got to work with until the draft comes. I'm sorry. Anyways, Kenny Wiggins is now once again at the Detroit Lions. This was a Kind of a deaf guy last season. He played a little bit left guard, kind of rotated with Joe Dahl. Joe Dahl did have more of the snaps at left guard, so he didn't start, but he was a nice rotational guy. Solid, right? He's a solid guy on the offensive line. I don't really want him to start next season. I'm not going to lie with you. Not with Matthew Stafford having back-to-back -back injuries. I'm hoping this is just a depth signing. I don't know exactly what the contract is. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm sure it's probably cheap. It may even be just a one-year, like, really cheap deal to start bringing back. And I'm good with that. You got to fill out roster spots. I'm not going to go off because, oh, you didn't sign, you know, you didn't sign J.D. Van Conley. Like, nah, you got to fill out the guard spots. But still, at the same time, when I'm looking at this, Let's bring in some competition at guard. Here's my thought. We have Josh Burgarnett. Now we have Kenny Wiggins. And we also have, who is the other guard? I can't, Bo Benshaw. I'm sorry. Can I remember that name? Tackles. Okay. You know, maybe move Big V to guard and drive tackle. Let's just assume he's a tackle for this situation. All right. The guard spot right now, maybe Josh Burgarnett, the, the former first round pick, is that great. And maybe he balls out with the Lions and he's like, oh yeah, you started right guard. You got it. Or left guard. And then maybe Kenny Wiggins and Bo Benshaw, one of them look really good. And it's like, wow, they can start. But at the same time, draft a guard. Please do not just say, okay, you know what? We're just not going to draft a guard. We're set. Don't do that with Matthew Stafford that's been injured back-to-back -back seasons. Your offensive line wasn't bad last season. So, I, you know, I do trust you guys a little bit. At the same time, bring in some competition. It doesn't mean that whoever you bring in has to start. I'm not saying first, second, even really third round they hit the draft lineman. But at least by the fourth round, bring someone in. Please just bring in one guard at least for competition. All right, somebody. They don't have to win the draft. They don't win it and the other guys do. Good for them. I'm not saying they can't be great players. We haven't seen Bo. We haven't seen Josh Morgan. But man, when you talk about like what, you know, the fact that they didn't start last season or the fact that Joshua Garnett is a guy that was kind of just let go as a former first round pick, a little bit concerning. At least just bring some competition in. If they win the job, good for them. I'll be rooting for them for sure. But still bring in some comp. Don't make these moves, Bob Quinn. Please don't make these moves and just forget about the guard spot. I don't think you will. I have confidence. I have confidence in you that you'll make this thing work. Okay, so Lions brought back um, Kenny Wiggins. Not the biggest news, not the most exciting, but I do want to give it to you guys. Hopefully you're excited for this and, uh, yeah, the draft is coming up soon. We had the depth offensive lineman. Don't think it really changes anything for the draft, but I just want to give you guys that news. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, thank you for watching, and I'm out.